This is a short video demonstration on exporting GPX and or KML data from the Gaia GPS app. When you collect GPS data in the forms of tracks or waypoints or possibly even routes or other types of information, G, uh, tracks and waypoints are by far the most common. They're uh, stored or saved under the, the bottom toolbar with the saved folder, four buttons over to the right. If I tap the saved folder at the bottom of the map, you'll see that it brings up the saved area. And if you look in the upper left, it's currently filtered by folders. So I'm going to click on the word folders in the upper left and tell it to show all. You can filter content saved in the app by tracks, routes, waypoints, maps, areas, folders, hikes. I'm going to go to all because this is how it's most commonly seen. And so if you scroll through this, you'll see a lot of information that is not in a folder. So I've been GPSing some things just to have some content here not organized in folders so we can make a few points and talk about some of the nuances of how this works. So my photo is a photo tagged with coordinates here. We can look at that. This is my uh, a little shed and a, really what I was taking a picture of there is the pretty dogwood. If we go back, you can see the location of it. Look back and look at saved. I've got a, a little track called Trail 2 in front of my house, a GPS a waypoint called Trailhead, another trail. These are all fictitious. I've got a waypoint called Test, a waypoint called Road. And then I've got a, uh, a, a uh, track, a blue track there called 17 Beaver Point Park. And then I've got a folder. So the point I wanted to make was it's valuable to create folders and organize your content by folder. So this folder has lots of information in it based on one GPS session. So if you have a particular GPS project you're doing or one session of GPS, organize all the content, the GPS information from that session into a folder. Now, why is this such a big deal? Well, the main reason is it allows you to uh, import and export content as a group without having to export individual elements. So for instance, if we wanted to, all these items that are not in a folder, you can open the item, click on the action menu there, and you can export. But you have to export items individually that way. You could, from here, showing, if you, if you want to export all of your tracks, you can filter by an item like tracks or waypoints, and you can export tracks here. If you export tracks here, I clicked this action item in the upper right, the three horizontal dots. While I'm just looking at tracks, I can export here, and it will export all of the tracks that are not in a folder. The problem with that, it's nice because it, it, it exports them all into one file, that's nice, but if you have a bunch of items that are not related to each other, like a bike ride from last week, and then maybe you were GPSing some, some, uh, some guardrails for someone this week, and maybe you went and GPSed a trail for someone else the next day, if they're not all related to each other, you don't necessarily want them all in one file. So that's the same with waypoints. If I've been taking a bunch of waypoints that are not in folders, that are not related to each other. Maybe I went and GPSed a bunch of good fishing spots along a river one day as waypoints. And then I GPSed a bunch of fire hydrants for someone the next day. By filtering by waypoints, if I go to export, it'll put all the waypoints in one GPX file, but they're not related to each other necessarily. So it's, it's, uh, 
by putting them in folders, what you can do is I've got a GPS session. I can filter by folder. I've got a GPS session here and you can, now I'm in this GIS 215 demo folder. I, 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 I GPS the driveway, my car, a fire hydrant, a sidewalk. I have a test location. I've got another sidewalk, storm drains, fire hydrants, light poles, the side of the road, and a road. So uh, I've got a bunch of information related to the same GPS session. And from this folder, what I can do is I can export. And I can export as GPX or KML. And what it does is it combines everything into that in that folder into one GPX file. So it will also, also save the images. I'm not gonna upload now because I've already done that. Um, something to note about the images, and when you take a picture while you're GPSing and it tags that picture, it, it geo-references or geolocates that picture on your Gaia app based on the lat long of the picture. When you export the GPX file, it will export the pictures with it. But when you open the GPX file in some other program, or if you convert it to a shape file and open it in Azure ArcGIS, the points are no longer connected with the photos, or the photos are not connected with the points. You'll see the waypoints, but the, you can't click on a point and see the photo. If you want a file that allows you to do that, you can export from Gaia to KML. And what the KML file will do is it will save it from keyhole markup language to a, to a uh, zipped KMZ file, which is also a keyhole, or keyhole markup language, but it, KMZ allows it to group pictures and other content with the vector data. So that's one way to keep the pictures combined with the, uh, the GPS data once it leaves the app. Um, so one disadvantage of doing it this way is it, it combines your waypoints and your lines into one GPX file. So um, the disadvantage of that is sometimes you want those in separate files and, and we can we could get those separated in other software um, and I'll show you when we use GPS visualizer one particular use case where it's nice to have your waypoints and your lines separate. Um, and so look for that demonstration uh, coming up later in this assignment. So I hope this helps with exporting uh, your, your GPX or KML data out of the Gaia GPS, and I hope it, it uh, covers some of the nuances of it. You could export out individual waypoints, select a waypoint, export it, select another waypoint, export it, select another waypoint, export it. And then you could combine those waypoints those waypoints in different GPX files into one big GPX file using something like GPS Visualizer or the My Geodata Converter that we're going to see as well. Um, so there's there's a lot of uh, again nuances to it, um, and and there's ways to combine files that aren't combined. There's ways to to separate files that are not separated, but a lot of it has to do with your workflow. Um, your, your project, what you're trying to achieve, and your level of experience. Um, and you'll learn about it the more you do it. So that's what we're doing in this exercise is learning about lots of the different options uh, um, available in Gaia. And they're similar in other GPS apps that you may use.